everyone knew Brenda Tan had a very bad dry spell. What? You can say it nicer, <laughs> right? Just single for Brenda. So who is this person? Oh, I actually haven't shared this on YouTube at all. <laughs> this is like the first time I think. Hey guys, <laughs> welcome to another episode of Kachau. And today we have another person to Kachau. She is none other than Brenda Tan. <laughs> like, okay, you're not struggling to enter the car. Hi! The only way you can be on this show uh -huh. is to be a non employee of the SM. <laughs> Today, I'm going to bring you to three halal bakeries that I know of that I think are very good because you like bread, right? I love! In exchange for you to eat all these yummy halal goods, uh -huh. you got to answer my questions lah. Okay lah. A lot of you don't know that you are not actually part of TSL anymore, right? I left my job at TSL last year in November. I was actually a social media manager. If you follow the Smart Local SG on Instagram and TikTok, uh, I was overseeing both platforms. Right. Together with Fauzi for a while actually. Yes. Although I left uh, my desk job at TSL, I'm still managed by TSL mm. as a talent. So I'll still be appearing in videos till further notice. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you leave? Because of that person. Uh. No, don't have! I'm kidding! I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I, I don't know if people are expecting like a very big answer. A lot of tea being spilled, but it's not as dramatic as everyone thinks. Because I've been with TSL for, I think, four years. I've reached a point where I was burnt out. Especially because I was playing two roles in the company, which was very tiring to balance for me. It wasn't something that was brewing. It was more of like a sudden realisation. I'm glad that now we are shedding like more mental health. But last time when I was being brought up, right, it's no such thing. You're tired at work. You just gotta, you know, get your shit together and continue working, right? right? That's why I took that leap of faith and decided to take charge of my mental health at that time and make that big decision now. But to pick one or the other, yeah. did you always wanted to be a talent last time growing up? No As a way. primary school kid that went to school, I am Brenda Tan <laughs> of TSLs. I actually wanted to be a teacher when I was in uni. Uh, oh. Why that face? Huh? I actually went for an interview with MOE and uh, I wanted to teach like primary school math and English. Wow. But at the same time, while I was going through that, actually my friend, told me that TSL was uh, doing this like talent audition. At that time, I was, I was a huge fan of TSL. I think I know the names of all the OG people. No, for real. Okay. So I said, just try long. And then the rest is history. Uh, very thankful, very thankful. bought stuff from Bombs and Buns. It says here that they specialise in cold puffs and hot buns. This is the truffle mushroom bun. It smells very kai wei. Very kai wei, correct. Very appetising. Oh shit, it's so soft eh. It's like a cloud. Oh, 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 oh. Huh? Set up. It's really, really well balanced. I think the truffle and the mushroom goes very well together. But I can still taste the mushroom. The truffle doesn't overpower the mushroom. Or maybe I'm crazy because I don't taste the truffle. Can we talk about the bread? Like the bun itself. Just the bread cream. It's so now. fluffy. Mm -hmm. It's moist. The toppings on top are actually quite savoury. But it balances well because there's like a substantial amount of bread. Isn't the bread that's a bit of sweetness? A bit? Yeah, correct. So it complements the savouriness right, very well. Right. This bun on its own yeah. costs 4 90 I think it's a very good bun. But 490 is a little bit steep. Looking at the area we are in, 490 for something this big is okay. So these are shoe pastries. I have one that's kaya butter and coffee cream dulce. So I'm gonna yeah. try the kaya butter. He's gonna try the coffee, coffee cream, cream dulce. dulce. Yes. Mm. I think for the both of these two, mm. they taste expensive. Yeah. I hate to use the term, not too sweet, but it really is not. It's not overpowering also. I love this. I can taste the pandan. It's very, very strong. And then on top is where the butter comes in. It's like this slightly more salty version of a buttercream. Very, very flavorful when you eat both together. I think getting one of this and one of this is like basically a Singaporean breakfast. Mm. <laughs> you got kopi. And you got kaya toast. Okay, huh? I personally also prefer the coffee. Because I think when it comes to like chew, chew, eh, chew, 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 chew your boss last time. Because when it comes to shoe pastry, right? Uh. 
I think coffee, yes, you cannot beat coffee. It's a hit, everybody! It's really set up. So the kaya butter is $4.20 mm -hmm. and then the coffee cream is $4.80. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Okay, this one, I personally will pay. Because it really feels so like artisan. Yeah, if I'm going for like a house party, you know, my friends hosting, mm. I will buy this. If I'm going for a house party, I will not buy this. I don't share. Oh. <laughs> the next location is not near us. So we shall go there now and I'll ask you more questions. Questions. Okay, I'm excited. Let's go. <laughs> for the longest time, when I first entered TSL also, like everyone knew Brenda Tan had a very bad dry spell. What? You can say it nicer, <laughs> right? Just single for very long. And then Larry just said, you never had your boyfriend for that damn X amount of years. I hope you're single forever. <laughs> Larry said that, right? But at the same time, he was the one that wingman us. <laughs> oh, I see. So now he's the single one. So who is this person? Oh, I actually haven't shared this on YouTube at all. <laughs> this is like the first time, I think. Like the a bit of the story. <laughs> <laughs> Context is... He used to work in DSL. <gasps> Don't act shocked like you. <laughs> but his role is not camera facing, so he's not in any video. So for the longest time when he was still in the company, I, I can be him. Mm. Yeah. Uh, but I never made a move. Because I didn't shy lah. Disgusting. I didn't shy. Like I couldn't even bring myself to talk to him. You know? Nice guy, nice guy. Nice good guy. catch, good catch. <laughs> then do you think he got a good catch? Huh? Um, I mean. What must you think? <laughs> If it's a good catch to you, um, <laughs> <laughs> let me like just share a little bit about how Larry winged us. Yeah, it was an event. Larry invited the both of us, mm. but I couldn't make it because I was down with an allergy reaction. So he went, and then Larry was there. Later that night, I received a text from him, and then we went out. So Larry was drunk that night, and then he actually wrote down in his notes right everything he told him. Then you know one of the one of the things he told him was like Brenda really likes you. <laughs> I was like, what? We're now safely parked. Um, I was turning around this area for 20 minutes just to find, so I hope the food is still warm. So we have here tomato and cheddar cheese toasty. Apparently the store people told me that they are actually known for their sandwiches, like very famous. Okay, shall we? Yeah. Ah. Mm. Oh. Oh this thing is so good, right? To the point that I actually beat the paper and I didn't even know. I beat this part. Upon purchasing it, they did help us to toast it. You know, we had to take B-rolls and all that before this. And it's actually reached a point where the cheese is like no longer melty. But it's still very good. Correct. The cheddar is super salty that it's very savoury. The cheese taste is not, you know, the smelly strong. Ah. It's the fragrant. They don't just put sliced tomatoes. I think they put this like tomato puree. Relish? Taste. I don't know. It's so good. My only feedback, right, is I wish there was some sort of meat inside. Like oh. chicken. Wow! This is best consumed right after it comes out of the texture. Because they use this sourdough bread, right? And it's so thick, after a while, it does get a bit hard to bite down. So this entire sandwich costs 13 20 Slightly on the more expensive side, but I will come and buy it. This is the famed almond croissant. A lot of people have been raving about this. I also think it's pretty good amongst all the bakeries that are here. The price actually ranges from 5 20 to 6 20 depending on the size. So if you get a small one, it's 5 20 this but if is? you get a big one like this, it's six twenty. Okay, second bite. I let you. I let you. I let you. Second bite. Crunchy. Oh my god! Are you actually fan or a fan of like almond croissants in general? You are. So this is up there. Two things for almond croissant for it to be set up. The almond paste inside you cannot be nyao with it, and it has to be crunchy. And I haven't tried. What the heck? Eh, never mind. Never. <laughs> Cause the way you talk, right? I thought you did. <laughs> Guys. Listen to me. It's dense because of the almond paste cake thing inside. It's not overly sweet. I'm very impressed with their bakes. Although they are not hot or warm, mm. they still taste very good. So that's that's mother dough for you. But the next one has even more things to buy. Let's go. <laughs> when I watch videos, right? When I and then we have parts where you sing, I'm like, oh, Brenda has the most stable voice. Don't say that. I swear. So my question is, if you could rank. All the singers that are in TSL, can you rank them from best to worst? You gotta give me a list. You gotta give me names. Reiner. Okay. Gerald. Adria. Adria. Chow. Chow. Don't put Sue inside. No, right? 
<laughs> See you, do you hear that? All right. I personally think Reiner is number one. Mm. Next one, I would say Miss Adria Tham. Third one to me will be Gerald. For Chow, her voice is damn strong. Like she hey. can belt and all. But that's not my preferred types of songs to listen to. Like when they belt. How about you rank everyone? Me? Yeah. Okay. Don't put this in. Now you're gonna rank them. <laughs> now you know how it feels right. Now you know how it feels right. So now is the test. My name is Surian Kaul. This is Brenda Tan with Make you feel my love. Ooh. When the rain is blowing in your face And the whole world is on your case I could offer you a warm embrace To make you feel my love Finish? No? When the evening shadows and the stars appear And there is no one there to dry your tears I could hold you for a million years To make you feel my love Get Ken? <laughs> Yay! <laughs> this one's for the boys with the boom system Top down AC with the cool system so in the future, right, you're still doing talenting stuff. But apart from that, what is the future of Brenda Tan like? I thought that once I quit immediately, I would be able to think about what I want to do. Mm. But it's easier said than done. But instead, I think over the past few months, what I've realised is what I don't want to do. For now, mm. my plan is to hustle it out and try my very best at being a content creator. I don't achieve what I hope to achieve, then I will tell myself it's okay, at least I tried. Then I will possibly pursue something else. Do you know what that is? No. I don't know. I still have teaching at the back of my mind all uh -huh. the time. Yeah, Miss Tan. <sighs> That's right. So we visited Conditori. Mm. I have the Jumbo Cheesy Wiener Roll. Wow, heavy eh! It's so heavy, oh my goodness! What it tastes like to me is a standard nice sausage roll you get from a normal bakery. But they tung with different types of sauces, toppings, cheese, ham. It looks grander and nicer than it tastes. Okay, apart from the sausage being super jumbo. <laughs> Stop it. Be mature about it. I think there's nothing to shout about. Nothing right? to shout about. Yeah, and it's 970. Alright, moving on. We're gonna try the black pepper beef and honey mustard croissant. Two things that I never thought would come together actually. Yeah. I feel like I've tasted croissants with more layers mm -hmm. and croissants that are more buttery and fluffy. I feel the layers are a bit um too thick. For the beef, I was a little bit confused. Correct. I was thinking it's gonna be like beef. Hunks, but it's basically like beef pastrami kind of thing. Hang on a minute. Mm. I just took a bite where I got a bigger mouthful of the honey mustard. Mm -hmm. And it's actually quite good. Like there's the oom mm factor. Mm -hmm. Without it, it would taste plain. So okay, let's try the, the sweet one, shall we? This is the Rocher Danish. Yes. This is so funny. We're having a taste test in, <laughs> in front of Masago Zuki, please. <laughs> Can you see him? Yes, yes. <laughs> It's hazelnut butter eh? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's not just Nutella, right? Correct. To me, that's what makes this expensive or tastes expensive. They really nailed that um, hazelnut butter. But the chocolate inside is a bit too sweet for me. I think it's too much. The Danish, right, can be a lot airier. Because mm -hmm. the chocolate sauce and the hazelnut sauce, they are heavy. I'd like to differ because I like the chewiness and the richness mm, of the okay. taste. Yes, it's a bit sweet, but texture-wise, I think this one hit the mark. The price for this is five sixty. Do you think it's worth it? Personally, yes. For me, I think five sixty is a very reasonable price for the size. And considering, right, they are super generous with the ingredients. Nonetheless, we've only tried three things from um, Conditori. They have two store fronts. Oh. Both sides are filled and packed with pastries and whatnot. Mm. And on top of that, when we went in, right, the queue was like consistent, like mm. non-stop. I'm sure like they have different types of pastries that suit different taste buds. Okay, so we at the end of our little bakery adventure with Brenda. Yay. Which one was your most favorite break of the day? Okay, so I will be judging based on like which one will I eat the most often. Ah, uh, okay. Right, right? And my answer is the 
tomato and cheddar cheese toasty from Mother Do. My favorite of the day is coffee cream dolce from Bombs and Buns. So, so nice. Yeah, that's actually my second. If it's like occasion based where I'm going for a party, I would buy the shoe pastries from Bombs and Buns. Who do you think should be on here next? I thought of my answer, and it's for your own good, by the way. For well, my own yeah, good. Yeah, because I know you love them a lot. Of oh, more than one. Y'all need to invite new jeans. <laughs> Five, six, seven, eight. Oh my, oh my god. <laughs> I would want to see Ryan from Overkill. I want to see how like the Food King actually critiques your recommendations. He's a hawker boy though, so if you are going to do an episode with him, maybe do like some hawker food. Uh, yeah, easy peasy. Thank you for watching this episode of Ka Chow. If you liked it, you can watch more over there. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye! Oh my, oh my god. I was really hoping that it will come true. Ah! Got him on camera, he's dancing.